Hi guys, this is Klazar bringing the audio commentary, and this is game four of the best of five matchup between uh, in the ever OSL 2009-2010 season played on the 1st of January 2010 between Flash and Calm. Uh, and Calm finds himself in the eye of a storm, and let's hope a place where where there is relative serenity, and let's hope he can make maintain his composure here to try and fight back uh, and try and regain some of that momentum. Uh, I'm sure Flash fans uh, won't be hoping for that, uh, although as a neutral supporter, I think you want Calm to take this, because this game, uh, this series has been so spectacular between these two players, you feel that it really deserves that epic finish, it really deserves that final flourish that will be provided to us if, if Calm can take this set and push this into a tiebreaker back on El Nino. But first, he's going to have to find a way to break Flash down here. Uh, and he's going to have to find a way to regain that confidence that he must have lost. That last defeat from Flash would have been absolutely backbreaking. I'll have some of that money, thank you. That last defeat, although I'm sure it's not actually a lot of money, even though it was 5,000, two 5,000 notes. Uh, but I don't think Korean won are actually worth that much. So, anyway... Um, it looks like, and, and so far, the only disappointing thing for me from the series, even though I think the quality of the play has been spectacular, the execution has been perfect, uh, and both of these guys have been pushed to their limits, uh, and really, Flash is being challenged in a way that I'm not sure he expected to be. He's really being made to play and really being made to earn his victory so far in this matchup. Uh, but the only disappointing thing for me has been... Uh, I suppose the repetitiveness that has crept into this matchup. We're, we've seen... Uh, three matches so far with one Rax into CC and uh, 12 hatch into 2 hatch Muta and it looks like that's exactly what we're going to be seeing from Calm anyway. He's going for a 12 hatchery yet again. It'll be interesting to see if that once again translates into a 2 hatch Muta. Uh, Flash putting that Rax down. I would have liked to have seen Calm do something different. Uh, Flash scouting in the correct direction with that SCV seeing that overdoor which also was sent in the correct direction by Calm. Uh, but I would like to have seen Calm do perhaps something different knowing how predictable Flash is being uh, with his builds going for that one Rax into CC. I, I wonder if Calm could have perhaps tried maybe even a Lurker Rush or something like that. Something just a little bit different. Maybe even go for a uh, 3 hatch rebuild instead of going for the 3 hatch Muda and try and out, micro, uh, out macro flash because we saw... Uh, but of course, had he gone for that in the previous round, uh, he needed those early, uh, earlier mutilists to hold Flash off because Flash had pushed out with a Medic and Marine group quite early. Uh, so Calm has been has been going with the build that I guess he feels is the best to counter Flash, and he just has to count on his execution uh, to be able to outplay Flash. And I think that that's a tough, a tough ask for any player um, to be able to do that, and it'll be interesting to see if Flash once again puts that one Rax into CC, and he has indeed gone for that, he's put that command center down, taken his expo, floated that Rax off away from that blocking position before he starts producing his first marine, uh, and, um, once again, it's going to come down to uh, a repeat in terms of the, st the style of matchup between these two players. Calm once again getting those six links out and getting that layer up as soon as the spar goes down. Uh, and he's going to obviously try and usher that SCV out of his base, but he doesn't really need to because, to be honest, Flash is going to be aware that Calm is going to be putting a spar down straight away. I, w I would just like to d see him perhaps do something different. Uh, this time around, uh, to try and catch Flash off guard. But Flash has been playing such stunning StarCraft that I guess Calm doesn't feel he's, he's able to do that. This time, Calm, uh, I think for the first time in this matchup, is leaving that SCV alone. Usually we see him try and take that SCV down before pushing those links out, but this time he's pushing those links out, perhaps just to put a little bit of pressure on his opponent, but Flash has already got that bunker down, he's putting that Supply Depot down, he's got a couple of Marines in there. Now Calm pulls the, S uh, pulls the links back, now that he's seen that bunker, he's going to try and take that SCV down, which obviously he needs to do, uh, and Flash is just going to try and delay him. Uh, with that SCV, uh, and um, th this this is all on calm now. He has to he has to pull it out of the bag, and um, I guess he has confidence in himself that if he keeps doing the same thing and the thing that I suppose uh, he he has been comfortable doing with thus far, uh, that he will be able to pull it out and, and push it into a final matchup. But but I would love to hear your thoughts, guys, on how we've ended up at this situation where we've had the same build from each player four sets in a best of five matchup in a row. It's just it's just astounding. I mean. Uh, has has the game of StarCraft changed so much in the last three months since I've been watching it? Um, I, I can't remember the last time I saw this where in a best of five players went for the exact same build again and again and again. Um, uh, and uh, considering, of course, we saw we saw the three hatch uh, we we saw the typical three hatch builds from Jadon. Uh, 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 in, in the first game versus Flash, and then uh, and then of course we never got to see what his 12 hatch would have gone into in the second game. Uh, he really found himself in a lot of trouble early on, uh, and and that was it. Uh, but I, I am I am a little bit surprised to see neither player varying their strategy or trying anything risky, uh, or, or or anything extremely risky. Uh, I, I suppose some might argue that 12 hatch in of itself isn't really. Um, 
something you would expect to use consistently again and again against Flash. Uh, but it seems it seems to be the build that Calm has gone for. Uh, and Flash now, once again, getting himself set up. He's got that Academy down, the Spire coming up. And once again, it's going to come down to the Mutalist Micro and how effective Calm can be with it. Calm, once again, taking that hatchery at the top right uh, at the 1 o'clock position. But Flash is going to be aware that this is what Calm has been doing. I'm sure he's aware by now that this is the kind of thing that Calm is trying to do. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if Flash tries to put a little bit more pressure on that hatchery early on and prevent Calm from getting that 3 gas going quickly. Calm is, of course, going to try and do something similar where he did to the last game, try and contain Flash. Uh, use those mutilists as effectively as he can early game uh, and, and get that hatchery up, get those early lurkers out. Um Get the hide down, get those lurkers out, and defend that uh, expansion with the lurkers. Flash now venturing out with a small group of medic and marines. Uh, and of course, the difference is that because this is on cross map, Flash does have a slightly shorter distance, as well as those mutilists have a shorter distance to cross uh, to reach the opponent's base. Now, calm with some, uh, looks like burrowed zerglings, I thought there were. I'm not sure exactly what that was. There's no way he would already have researched burrow, so that must have just been a trick on my eyes or something silly like that. Uh, but calm now.